I find this quote by Chuck Palahniuk on creative industry very interesting because it relates much with development in Nigeria. He says, the first step, especially for young people with energy, drive and talent, but not money, the first step to controlling your world is to control your culture, to model and demonstrate the kind of world you demand to live in, to write the book, make the music, shoot the film, paint the art. That's the story of uh, Nigerian film industry. The film industry, like other organs of the creative sector, has grown from local delight to global brand, with most actors today known as worthy celebrities. On the spot this week, we'll take a look at potentials in the industry with someone who has played vital role in developing it. I'm Joseph Woodson, welcome to the program. Now my guest is a content creator with vast experience in what it takes not just to produce a film but also promote and market it. He has uh, championed innovations that positively impacted on Nigeria's film industry, domestic and beyond. He's an astute administrator, businessman and politician and human capital builder. On several occasions he has been called to bring his prowess to bear in public and private sectors, including serving as Deputy Chairman, Ministerial Committee for the Relocation of the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports from Lagos to Abuja, Member of Federal Government Delegation to Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago for a common, a Commonwealth Youth Ministerial Meeting a member of the federal government delegation to the United Kingdom to understudy ethnic diversity harmonious mechanism in governance. On the political front, he was elected member of the Federal House of Representatives during the Third Republic, uh, national chairman, amalgamation of Nigerian Youth Association. Other offices include Honorable uh, Federal uh, Commissioner, Federal Character Commission, and Senior Management Staff, Petroleum Equalization Fund. On the spot is the Managing Director, Chief Executive, Nigerian Film Corporation, Dr. Chidia Madwe Kwe. Welcome to the program. Thank you. It's in It's okay. my pleasure. Okay. Thank okay. You. Um, He's equally a traditional <laughs> man. Yeah, okay, defined to mean the head of creativity. Head of creativity. Well, yeah. that's beautiful. That's it. Okay. So it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. That's good. Good. Thank you. Head of creativity. That's wonderful. It really so well what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. You have been there 2017? Yeah, 20, I was appointed 2017. To yes. date. Mm -hmm. But I'm a medical doctor by training, okay. a politician and a media practitioner by vocation. Yes. It captures all in what uh, <laughs> the profile will read there. That's yes. why I say you, you, <laughs> everything creativity is <laughs> in it. Now, for this year, that's about uh, six years. Yeah. Tell us, how has the journey been there? Will you say it has been smooth? And have you seen? development because some people question say the film industry particularly there were times that every household you go nigerian film there are times the films that it has, it drops and there are times you feel that they are focusing somewhere maybe they want to go the foreign style what has it been for you as a government agency uh, established by law in 1979 as Nigerian Film Corporation, having been earlier on the Colonial Film Unit in 1945, uh, before it became a federal uh, film unit. So we are charged with the mandate to 
uh, supervise, galvanize, develop the audiovisual asset of government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria uh, with a view as government to interface with the stakeholders and stimulate the growth and development of uh, the film industry in all its ramifications. So if we are coming from that angle, then I will speak essentially as to what could have been my experience as a government, head of a government agency, supervising the development, the uh, regulation, and um, stimulating the growth of the industry from, from the government angle. Like you are aware, uh, we must first of all commend our Nigerian film industry because the way they are today, it's not because uh, government, you know, will have given them the enabling, you know, uh, ground at the at the onset. Because at a point when um, the photography moved from analog to digital, uh, it, it got government agency frozen in time. It took the initiative and the resilience of uh, the Nigerian film maker to migrate onto the digital platform while government was still, you know, a kind of frozen in time, you know, being led back, issues of um, funding, issues of policy directives and all that. It kind of made government uh, not move with the speed of uh, the private sector people. And so they created Nollywood as we know it today, which has grown to become uh, the second largest uh, film producing uh, ecosystem in the world. So we must uh, commend our private sector individual filmmakers for uh, giving Nigeria that honor of being known as the largest filmmaking country in the world. Government everywhere in the world exists in order to tap into what is perceived to be the potential, the capacity of our people with a core objective of um, improving their means of livelihood, uh, seeing it from the economic point of view, whereby this particular activity will lead people into become net creators of wealth that will increase our GDP. So that makes government want to come up with certain regulation, certain stimulus, certain packages in line with the mandate for the agency that was set up. Like in our own, we are set up in developing to have the training arm to do distribution and exhibition, uh, to take care of our archival repository of the film video sound archives in Nigeria, which today is located in JOS, and to ensure there is you know, reasonable financial support to our teaming filmmakers so that uh, they don't get stranded either by way of equipment rental or by way of endorsement, exposing them to various funding mechanisms or by way of policy uh, in initiative that will lead to uh, um, collaboration because film is a global entity. So we are not just supposed to be in Nigeria and keep talking about the film industry alone, but we are also supposed to uh, look at uh, how do we link up our teaming private sector filmmakers with the global audience. So that brings us to government treaties, which is only government that can do it. And so before I came on board, okay. Okay, okay, um, I, I was just trying to ask you, you, you were talking about, you spoke so much about how this have gone a long way to create, a nebula, create kind of a employment opportunities and so much it has contributed to the economy of the country. No one would doubt that, and a lot of people have seen how that. You know. But you could talk to you about you. You are now a government person. What you are saying right now is what you are supposed to do to create that enabling environment for that industry to strive, not just the private sector. So where government was lacking, this is where you have to come in to come in and give that push. Let the government of you know, uh, official uh, authorities understand that this is what and what we should be doing to give the sector a push. Yeah, I was exactly on that when um, you you caught in. I said that film is a global 
you know, entity, and therefore, for us to thrive in it, we must be able to have a co-production agreement all over the world. And uh, incidentally, when I was appointed by His Excellency President Mohamed Buhari to head this uh, audiovisual asset of gov federal government, we had no single collaboration or co-production treaty with any country in the whole world. So my challenge was to read through what's supposed to be the mandate of, of, of the agency and government in that direction. And I'm happy to say that we were able to sign by 2020 uh, the very first co-production agreement between Nigeria and France. And you know that the French uh, are epic film, you know, modeling country in the world. So signing that agreement meant that we are supposed to benefit from their knowledge in the industry, their economic uh, benefit of such collaboration like uh, grants and funding that can go into any Nigerian producer that want to produce film, particularly with um, a French producer, which means the film will not only be screened here in Nigeria and other African countries globally, but it will also you know, be shown at the French uh, cinema houses, which means there will be get taken for that. So it meant a lot and a lot of uh, possibility, which was followed by the French government um, funding agency, AFD, visiting my institute in Jos and commissioning uh, Philip Consulting to do a comprehensive study analysis about the first national film uh, training institute in Nigeria, which is under the auspices of the Nigerian Film Corporation in Jos, the only one before film as uh, a subject became incorporated in in some universities across, across the land. So you find that uh, that kind of relationship stimulated learning, human capacity development, because you cannot really do well, despite what we have done without government. But now government coming into it is to enhance capacity. Yes, we are uh, about the second largest film producing uh, country in the world, but we are not within the first 10 um, best uh, movie award-winning countries. We are, not, we are not there. So which means, in as much as our films are of quality, they are quality in the hearts and minds of our brothers and sisters in the diaspora and within the country that are watching it. But we need to subject it to a critical test whereby uh, it should be selected uh, as an Oscar, you know, you know, product, nominated, selected, and and win an award. When we do that, like some other smaller countries that are not even producing to our level, they have one series of awards. So that is what you find out that we came up with that arrangement to build capacity. We also went for that because when you do film, if the infrastructure is not there, then it, it becomes um, a, a, a restraining factor. What are the infrastructures that you require for a good developed film industry? You have to screen, screen rooms. I think I have to stop you there because we want to go for a short break. Go ahead. When we come back, we'll think about, talk more about the, the infrastructure because I think Thank that's you. a huge aspect of this conversation. Thank you. Okay, right. NTA News 24 has the sole mandate of bringing news to you anywhere and everywhere. We set standards based on current broadcast realities while consolidating on a wider reach to variety of audiences. We go beyond the screaming headlines to verify, interrogate and accommodate all shades of opinion without prejudice to national interest. Our well-researched, packaged and live programs keep you abreast of events, personalities and current affairs. Welcome back to On The Spot with the Managing Director, Chief Executive, Nigerian Film Corporation, Dr. Chidia Madwekwe. 
Thank you, Wilson. Okay, before we went on that, break, you were talking about the structure, and I have to stop you there because I know it has a lot to talk about. That's one thing that a lot of people have questioned, that structure that will give that film industry the boost. What is that structure that you have been laying for these six years that you have been there? Yeah, part of the structure is what I did mention, the fact that there is need for collaboration with other countries. So we started with the French, we also succeeded with the South African, and I have India, Canada, Brazil, um, Israel, South, uh, South Korea, um, Ivory Coast here, Angola, Namibia, Kenya, you know. So I have a host of other countries that are uh, Morocco, that the agreement MOU have passed through the judiciary and uh, foreign affairs. So that at the end, we are almost at the, at the, at the verge of consuming it. So if we sign all this co-production treaty, it will bring various uh, capacity, enabling capacity, just like the one on France, I didn't mention. Uh, we also have collaboration with the Germans. Today, we are running a master degree program in film culture and archival studies. It is only in Nigeria, it's only in NFI that you can find that degree. All over Africa is based on that kind of structural collaboration in area of human capacity development with the German government that has led to that. Then when you come to the uh, structural aspect of the infrastructure, what I just talked about before now was human capacity development. You find out that uh, you need to produce film, you need to screen it. Today we are highly you know, low in terms of uh, screening, screening rooms. So what I did over the years is that working with the National Assembly, several um, viewing centers, we are being uh, commissioned under the constituency project of the National Assembly in many local government. So the people decide to have that as uh, the viewing centers. But interesting, interesting to know that following the co-production agreement with uh, the South African, I have also been, we have also been able to uh, create a partnership possibility with uh, ECDC. ECDC is the Eastern Cape Development Commission and on, under the supervision of the ICRC, which is the Infrastructural Concessional Regulatory Agent Commission in Nigeria. We, we are working towards uh, putting up over um, 500 to 1,000 um, viewing centers all over the Federation in the next coming years with the partnership, which again, uh, the Afri Exim Bank uh, just recently you know, expressed interest to support the Nigerian Film Corporation, indeed the Nigerian government, in building these centers of uh, film entrepreneurial hubs or ecosystems. So we have attracted the attention of Afri Exim Bank. We have attracted the attention of the French government when the French ambassador visited me, she made mention of over 130 uh, euros, uh, uh, million euros that are being given to enable the country, which are now at the Federal Ministry of Finance and Budget Planning, approved by the past administration, so that they can be used in looking at the dig digital uh, uh, film entrepreneurial component. Of, of, of developing the audiovisual asset. So by the time you look at all this effort that government is putting in place, what is it all about? It's to boost the capacity, training, because if you don't train, you can't deliver. Then when you are trained, you have to um, participate, you have to partner, you have to produce the content for which you have been trained. So we are laying the solid foundation through collaboration and getting funding agency, like I mentioned, Afrexim Bank from Cairo. It's never been heard of. I did mention uh, the funding again from uh, French intervention development from agency French, yeah. and okay. many more. So when all these things are ruled uh, by the Nigerian Film Corporation under the under the federal government, uh, you know, supervision, it it dovetails to making sure that 
our female entrepreneurs have their handle. And besides, we are working towards freeing ourselves as government agency, uh, being solely dependent on 100% um, on funding uh, from the, from the tre you know, treasurer, treasury, because we want to um, bring it to, not, you know, the country today is really suffering from uh, funding difficulties. So we are having a program, uh, a proposal that will make us uh, migrate away from being 100% funded by government so okay. that we can mm -hmm. be net contributors of wealth to the common treasury. Mm. I want to take you away from the, the bigger stage, uh, come down to the foundation. In, on several occasions, I see a lot of uh, young Nigerians who, even when they want to improve on their skills and so on acting uh, capacities, they have to travel abroad for training. <clears throat> that comes, give me the question, uh, what is happening to the institution that are under your control? What is happening there in terms of building the capacity there to produce, to, for people to go there and learn, get the adequate training and come out as great actors right here in Nigeria? Yeah. Actually, the institution have trained a lot of uh, stars that are making waves all over the world in terms of their capacity. i give you one example or some example. Um, when the wedding party movie came, you know, came out, the whole world clapped that that was an epic film. It might interest you to know that over 60%, 60 to 70 percent cast and crew in that film were people trained by National Film Institute. I just give that as one example. There are many other production platforms that are engaging people. At a point, one of the best cinematographers in Nigeria, Nyinka Edward, uh, was Nyinka Edward. It's a product of NFI. So, in terms of deliverables on our capacity enhancement, NFI has been up and running in doing that. Secondly, under my watch, I have been able to build three mobile film school platforms. This is a 40 feet trailer, articulated vehicles that can expand when you get to this, where you are. Because you don't expect everybody to come to JOS. Our duty is to create awareness because we also give short certificates, diplomas, degree, master degree, PhD is in the process. So for those who are trying to reach the unreachable, we roll with our mobile film units. Sometimes in collaboration with, um, again, members of the National Assembly in terms of uh, constituency training you know, program to create the awareness. It might interest you to know that NBS has already released the statistics that apart from the, in terms of uh, number of people employed, the audiovisual industry is second to the agriculture. So we have already huge um, employable citizens of this country, particularly the young ones. Okay, so what is that standout for you? That standout initiative or innovations that you will say you can will pride yourself if you leave that office today? If I leave that office today, I will know that we were able to sign uh, co-productive uh, treaties that never existed before. Two, we were able to set up the mobile film school that goes around the whole country to create the awareness. Uh, three, we were able to set up um, film entrepreneur hubs in all the six geopolitical zones. But the good news again is that our new minister, the current minister for arts and uh, honorable minister for arts, culture, and creative economy, has also come with her eighth, uh, the theme, Nigeria Destination 2030, which part of what she wants to accomplish, which is in line with the uh, structural framework we are putting in place, is to have film studios all over Nigeria, is to have film entrepreneur hubs all over the state of the Nigeria. So we're already laying the framework on which this Nobel, uh, no, novel idea of Nigeria Destination 2030 by the Honorable Minister 
Aisha Hamatu Musawawa will ride upon. All right. Thank you very much, you very Managing much. Director, Chief Executive, Nigerian Film Corporation, thank Dr. You. Chidia Madwekwe. Thank you so much. Mafia. <laughs> thank you very much for being on the spot. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much to viewers for always being there. I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye.